you guys welcome back to another vlog we just got back from core power we went this morning and the class was so good we did yoga sculpt and then we got out of core power and the car was towed and so we uber to the tow place we're talking to them told them a car we had to give them my license whatever and then they to told us that it's cash only so we had to uber I didn't even have my debit card with me, so I couldn't like go to an ATM near us. I only had a credit card, so we had to Uber home, add a stop to Uber to the bank, and then Uber back to the place. We finally got the car, and then we just got home. And I feel like it's been so long since our class, and I'm like sweaty, and I need a shower. But I made these soba noodles yesterday in my last vlog, and I'm eating them for lunch, and they're so good. Definitely make sure that you chill them before you eat them because it lets like the sauce sit and then you can like mix them together and they're really yummy and they're really good for you and we've been trying to eat just like healthy but i can make you tuna if you don't like them it's okay like a tuna sandwich it's all right you like them not particularly are you gonna eat them it's up in the air i got this set from beyond yoga i love their yoga pants and their tops. I'm a small in both, but I love this color. It's like a cobalt blue and I have it in green also. And I just love wearing their sets to yoga because you can get super sweaty and you don't see your sweat and it like absorbs. Oh, really? Is that all that you have to say? <laughs> it absorbs your sweat. Sriracha on everything. We've been working out a lot and eating at home and it's been making me feel so good. I made this really good smoothie that I didn't vlog this morning because I was like in a rush to get out the door, but it was one banana. Well, we each had a banana. I made it for both of us. So two bananas, coconut water and coconut meat smoothie from Trader Joe's as the base. And then I did cacao, cinnamon, two dates collagen powder which i'll show you guys i have two different things that i put in it up here we did this cacao powder and then i did this right here the agent nature holy main hair skin and nails collagen and then also this protein right here which i really like this protein and then i like Nirvana. i think that's what it's called those are my two favorites they're very clean and the ingredients are really good because i worked with a dietitian which we actually had her on the podcast and she recommended Truvana and Newsest for protein powders because they're very, very clean because some protein powders can have like a ton of added stuff in them. Those ones are really good. But anyway, I'm gonna eat and then I think we're gonna, gonna, gonna go for a swim at the beach because it's high tide and we wanna jump in the water. We just got pedicures. Now we're gonna go get pho. Anytime we've ever gotten pho, pho I've said pho, I called it pho when I get called out every time on my videos because I've said we're gonna go get pho, but it's called pronounced pho. So we're gonna go get it right now for dinner because, well, I'm hungry right now and our cleaners are at the house. So we're just trying to do stuff to pass time while they're there. So we're not just like sitting there, you know, while they're like trying to clean. We just got home and the house is so clean. The cleaners came and they literally do such a great job. They really pay attention to like every single detail. Like I know for a fact this morning after I made the coffee, I didn't clean, like dump this out and clean it. And they literally, clean the whole coffee machine they clean the inside the counters everything and it's just spotless and they do such a good job on the floors like today i was walking around and i was like i can't even walk barefoot around the house because it's like sandy and there's just dog hair literally everywhere so they did such a good job and i'm so happy and it just feels so nice and so clean i can't wait to go upstairs and get into bed and just like relax for the rest of the night i'm ordering a pair of hokas 
I think, because I want to start running and these are really good running shoes. So I'm going to order these all white ones. I also am going to update my shop my which is always linked in the description of my videos or in my Hubi link, but I have everything linked here that I talk about. I also have a few other categories like stuff, gifts for your boyfriend. I have home stuff, gifts for like a girl in your life, mom, sister, girlfriend, dog stuff. I have my favorite workout clothes. Makeup, self-care, bedroom links, holiday decor, style, which has all of the clothes that I wear in link. Skincare, kitchen, home, current makeup, revolve collection, everything that we use in the photo shoot and everything that I wore and stuff from my collection. I have links from a few vlogs that I did in April, more makeup, bags, and I'm going to do a jewelry one right now. I'm going to add some more jewelry, like my everyday jewelry and just stuff that I wear all the time, especially my earrings because I did a QA and a on Instagram today and I get so many questions about my earring stack, like my everyday ones that I wear. So I'm going to update that. And also I have a tab for like my Instagram, my TikTok and stuff like that. So we're going to do this for a little bit and I'm going to get all of my footage organized for my vlogs because I have a ton of footage on this memory card and I'm like, I need to go through it and I need to update it because I have so much, I feel like, and I have so many vlogs that I need to edit and upload. So we're gonna do that. But I just made a tea, which should be ready because I made it before we walked the dogs. So I let it cool down, <laughs> but it's just some ginger lemon tea. Perfect. And I love having this at nighttime because it just like soothes my tummy, helps with digestion. I also love spearmint tea, which is really good for your skin. So good. Hi guys. I've had the busiest morning doing work. I feel kind of overwhelmed, but it's okay. I have gotten so much done and I feel like the reason why I feel overwhelmed is because I didn't get a workout in first thing in the morning. I've been feeling so good when I've been working out and going to yoga and stuff like that. So I should have done that this morning. But I guess now I know to do that first thing in the morning before I start work because it makes me so much less stressed. But I've had a busy morning, got a lot done, emails, list of like everything I need to do. And I'm making some food right now. I made the smoothie I talked about yesterday this morning. I didn't vlog it because my camera i was i had my uh, memory card in my computer uploading some footage but yeah obviously i already told you guys what was in that i also set up my aura ring and i bought this a while ago and i've been wanting to put it on and i have the gold one and it's like the only finger it fits on is this finger this is my right hand and i stacked it with this my um Grammy's ring that she gave me so I don't know we'll see how it is I'll let you guys know how I like it once I wear it a little bit more but I'm making some lunch right now right now I'm making avocado toast for me and I'm making Mac a tuna sandwich and what I did was I took two pieces of bread I put hots on this one like hot peppers if you're not putting hots on your tuna, it's gonna change your life. And then I did the other half, I just toasted it. So it melted the cheese, but this half has the tuna and the raw grass-fed cheddar. I'm gonna add some fresh cracked pepper. And then I don't have lettuce today, so we're gonna do some arugula. And then we have two pieces tomato that I cut and now for the avocado toast that I've been making and I've been loving you need a full avocado lemon pepper salt olive oil and I'm gonna use this fresh sourdough bread that I bought the other day and I put it right in the freezer because my sourdough has been going bad really quick if I leave it out and Graydon told me that if you put it in the freezer it's like stays fresh and lasts so much longer so I'm gonna take a big piece of this 
And my toaster actually has a setting on it where you can press for like something that's frozen. And I'm just gonna toast the bread. And while the bread is toasting, we're gonna make the avocado mixture that's gonna go on top. And what you need, obviously full avocado. And I like adding all of my ingredients to a bowl. Just gonna mix the avocado, like mash it up lightly just to kind of break it up out of the shape that it was in before, just so I can add all the ingredients before I mix it all together. And then we're gonna do pepper, some salt, lemon, and then I'm gonna add a lot of olive oil. And I like to leave it like a little bit chunky still because I feel like it, that, it tastes the best that way and having it like have a little bit of chunks of avocado, not like a puree. I guess that's it. I'm gonna probably use the rest of this tomato just because I have it. I have like a tiny bit left. So I'll cut off a little piece of this. Bread is perfect. I don't like when it's like super crunchy. I like when it's warm and like a little bit toasty because I feel like when it's very crunchy, it's like, I don't know, it falls apart. And in my opinion, it's harder to eat. So we're gonna add the avocado mixture on top. You need to add a ton of red chili pepper flakes on top because it just makes it so yummy. And then add a piece of the tomato. I'm gonna add some of this flaky salt. It's Malden salt on top of the tomato. And this is the perfect avocado toast. It is so good. And I swear adding the olive oil in the mixture and also adding lemon just like really elevates <laughs> your avocado toast. It's so good. I just dropped off everything that I wanted to donate at the Goodwill. Oh my God. I swear people in Boston just have no... Like everyone's always on like such high alert and they have like such a high sense of urgency to get to where they're going. Cause I swear when I'm waiting at a light, it's like two seconds go by. I'm not even kidding. Like the light will turn green and then within like 0.2 seconds, someone behind you will beep to tell you to go. So it's like they want my foot on the gas, like ready to go right when, right when the light turns, but my car's like dusty. I've been trying to go get my the inside of my car clean for the past few days, but it's been like rainy here and they, I guess they said that they don't clean the inside of the car at the place I go to when it's rainy. So I haven't gotten it cleaned, but anyway, I just dropped off everything that I wanted to donate at the Goodwill. I think that the reason why I didn't know if I was able to drop it off there because at first I was like, I don't know if they're accepting donations, but I think because the last time I wanted to donate stuff was during, honestly, like during COVID. So I don't think that they were even accepting donations during that time. So I don't, I think that that's why I thought that I couldn't bring it there, but I brought it there and they had like a big box of um, stuff for like home stuff and then they had clothes also, but I didn't donate any clothes today. I only donated home stuff and I don't know it felt good to get rid of the things and you know clean out my space they've been sitting in like the corner of my kitchen forever in like boxes so that felt really good but I just feel like very overwhelmed today and stressed and just like honestly like sad and like irritated at like everything and it's like not for any reason I just feel I don't know. I don't know if there's like something going on with like the planets. I know that that sounds crazy to some people, but I feel like I get really affected by things like that. Or maybe it's just all in my head. But anyway, I just don't feel like that happy right now like I just feel like annoyed with like everything like every little thing that's happening is just like making me like honestly I don't know just like mad 
and I don't know, it just makes me feel like I don't wanna like do anything. A ton of clothes that I want to go bring to, to get altered. So I'm gonna go there right now. I have dry cleaning and uh, just like getting stuff done that honestly I've been avoiding. Not for any reason, just because like, I just forget about to do these things. But anyway, I'm on my way, they, way there now. I'm like out of it too. I got a new phone case today. The Apple, I just have a Apple case. I love these cases, the silicone ones. My phone is so protected with these. I've been having, like I've had them for years and I really like them. So I ordered a new red one because the other one that I had was like honestly breaking and all gross because I've had it for so long. And I do actually drop my phone a lot. So I'm gonna run in here and get all this stuff done really quick. Good morning. Just took a shower. Did my skincare. Well, I'm doing my skincare right now. I just wanted to say good morning. Last night, I slept with my aura ring that I set up yesterday. It was the first night that I slept with it on. And it worked so well. I'm like, why did I not set this thing up sooner than I did? Because I'm obsessed with it. And it tracks. If you don't know what an aura ring does... It tracks your like activity, your sleep, your breathing, your heart rate, your body temperature, like so much stuff. It's actually crazy. So it tracked my sleep last night and I don't have my phone with me right now. I don't even know where my phone is, but basically my sleep score for the night was a 95 <laughs> and I was in REM for like three hours. I had, I think an hour and a half of deep sleep and then the rest of the night it was called like light sleep or something but you guys it was literally crazy but i can't wait to see what my sleep is for tonight and um, i don't know i just like love tracking stuff like this and i just love anything that is gonna be i feel like it's just inspiring for like my health my overall health because I want to make sure I have like a good sleep every single night. Like last night I went to bed at like 10.45. And I was in bed at 9 o'clock and I just like wind down. And then end up going to bed at like 10.30, 10.45. Yeah, I got 9 hours of sleep. And I woke up at 9 o'clock this morning. I mean 8 o'clock this morning. And I just feel so refreshed and so good. And I got so much work done this morning. And I have a podcast at 12.30. It's 11.30 right now. And Mac wants to go get a coffee and he was just going to go, but I have enough time to go with him since my podcast isn't for another hour. And I'm excited for the podcast today because Emma's in Florida and we are going to do another episode where we just kind of like update and just like talk about life and like things that are going on. And I can't wait to catch up with her because we haven't FaceTimed since she's been there. And I feel like it's going to be like me and Emma catching up and like as if we're on FaceTime and I feel like we've gotten so many requests to do episodes like that so I'm really excited about that. I also feel so much better than I did yesterday and I feel like I've had, I've kind of been on like a roller coaster with my emotions and I've just been like dealing with a lot and I feel like I've really just been growing and changing a lot this year which is when you're growing and changing it's going to come with a lot of discomfort and Although, like, looking back on, like, the past, I would say not the past year, but, like, nine months, I've definitely felt, like, more uncomfortable. But I feel like when you're faced with a feeling like that, you're forced to grow and, like, work on yourself and, like, focus on areas of your life that you need to change. So that's what I've been doing, and I don't know, I'll go more into detail about it in on a different time because... Um, I really don't have time right now because I need to get ready and head out before I have to be back to record this podcast. Also, I've been really thinking about 
cutting. Oh, <laughs> I've been thinking about going back to Jana and getting my hair cut a little bit shorter because I don't even know what's going on with it right now, but because it's pretty short right now, but I don't know. <laughs> Can I not? Um, but I don't know. I'm like thinking just like maybe like one inch shorter for summer or just leaving it. I just don't know what to do. My hair also grows so fast. So I feel like when it's like really short, like I cut my hair to like here back in January of 2021. And I feel like by the time it was May of 2021, which is five months, my hair was already like back down to my collarbone. My hair just grows so, so fast. And I feel like that's because I don't, I don't know, my hair's just like always been like that. And also I don't use any heat on it or anything like that. Um, I have virgin hair. <laughs> I don't dye it, I don't use heat. So I feel like that's why my hair grows fast and is pretty healthy. But let me know what you think I should do with my hair if I should take another like inch off of it make it like legit shoulder length i feel like right now it's like a little bit lower at my collarbones or if i should just leave it let me know <laughs> what do you think okay this is the outfit for today i'm wearing this tank top from etern and then these parachute pants from rag and bone and then perfume love don't be shy by killian I'm like almost out of this. I really like it a lot. I rearranged the house this morning. Well, right when you walk in because this table, my mom is selling for me. She posted it on Facebook Marketplace, but I put the bar cart over here in the corner because the tree was there before. And I moved the tree right here because it covers up this electrical box because the bar cart used to be right there. And then I just feel like you could see this, like it was in the wide open. So I put the tree here and also I feel like when we would walk in, sorry, that's the lock on the door. Um, but when we would walk in, the bar cart was like right here. So people would like knock into it. Well, people meeting Max <laughs> and one time he came in and he, his leash got caught and he knocked over he would never do that. the glasses <laughs> and a few of them broke, which is fine. But I was like, you know what? I should just honestly move it. Also, look how much this bar cart is literally full of stuff. Um, also, another thing that I've been doing, I have two huge jars of corks from wine. I save all of my wine corks wherever I go. And I put them in this old candle holder. And I really like it. So... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I have a ton. I have more upstairs. Maybe one day. It like makes me sad because I want to, when I own a house one day, make like a bar area in my house and then have like the backsplash of the bar be all of the corks. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I don't know because what if I don't end up living in that house forever and then I sell it and then all of my corks are just like, in that person's house and I have to leave them behind. Like, I don't know what to do with them, but I wanna make something out of all of them. I also should have started like putting the date or something on them because I don't know when I drink them. But any time that anyone comes over and we like have a bottle of wine, we always save it, the corks, and even when I'm out somewhere, like I always take them and bring them home but it's kind of cool just to see clearly my favorite wine is prisoner so i have a lot of these and uh, yeah also this wine this red wine it's called love you bunches it has a really cute little cork with a heart on it and i just really like the bottle i have another one right here that we drank and i want to like put flowers in it i'm like working on rearranging the house and like decorating a little bit more for summer now that it's a new season and i don't know i just feel like it would be cute to have like fresh flowers in it and like put it somewhere also i'm like i need to get my nails done so bad we just went for a ride well we're literally um in the car right now obviously max getting coffee but 
I was just talking to him. I have so much stuff that I'm planning right now that I'm really excited for you guys to see and find out about. And I don't know, I just feel very like inspired and I feel like a big shift happened. And I just feel so much better than I have in a while. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm in a good place with oh, all of that. Like my workout routine, eating healthy, doing my meditations, like getting good night's sleep, going to bed early, and just being more like present. I don't know, feeling like getting my stuff done so I don't feel anxious and overwhelmed and stuff like that. So. But there's something that I can't wait to tell you guys that goes along with all the stuff that I've been talking about and I'm just really excited. That's what's up. Also, it's like been really cloudy here. I know that there's like a lot of stuff going on in New York right now. I guess like a lot of smoke came from the fires in Canada, but I'm not sure if we have any of that here. I think that it's just cloudy but like the sky didn't turn orange or anything like that. But I don't know, I feel like if I was in New York and that happened or like that happened here, I'd be so scared. Yeah, the sun's like peeking out today. It's finally starting to get sunny, which like makes me so happy because I swear I'm a person where my mood and just like everything is affected by the weather. Like when it's nice out, when it's sunny, I'm so much more motivated, I'm so much more productive. But when it's cloudy and like cold, I just like feel like I can't get anything done and I'm not as motivated, which I'm like, why don't I just move somewhere warm? Because I'm able to, like I literally can move anywhere if I wanted to. My job is not like holding me back or like holding me in Boston. So maybe, I don't know, I could like try out somewhere warm for like a year or something like that, I don't know. Those are just my thoughts what's going through my head right now okay also if you live in providence or if you're on the cape this summer you have to go to rory's she's been posting so much on her instagram like so many new things this is a raspberry limeade with raspberry puree lime juice agave coconut water and sparkling lime water that looks so good or you could like make it at home if you don't live in massachusetts or providence and you can't go to rory's also, she has a smoothie called the Tropical Turmeric, and this is what it looks like. It's like orange and red, and it's so good I had it when I was on the Cape. I'm like in my smoothie era right now. I've been like really loving making a smoothie, and I feel like she has so many good ones. I'm gonna like try to copy <laughs> her recipe. Okay, I'm rambling. Um, I have the podcast in 15 minutes, so where's my boyfriend? I need to go home, get ready to record. Okay, getting my mic all set up. Guys, I've been like, okay, I know that this sounds dumb, but I have really just tried to work on spending less money and saving because I feel like, also you can barely even see me. I feel like I, in the past, just have dealt with me, like a little shopping problem where I just would like see something I like and I would buy it. Like whether I saw something on TikTok or Instagram or I had a trip coming up and I would literally just go and I would buy it. And I've been having this feeling lately which like this sounds just like is gonna sound so insane and just like out of touch and I don't know but I just really want a new Chanel bag and part of me like the old me would have just driven to Newberry Street gone to the store and saw their new summer collection and probably just like bought one but I'm like you know what I don't need it and I need to just like stop impulse buying so i've been working on it and i have been really proud of myself because even when i've gone on trips or i have done different things or had a different event to go to or something i haven't gone out and bought something new for it which is something that i've done in the past so i'm proud of myself for just being more mindful of my spending because i have looked back and realized 
how many things that I've just bought on impulse and then like never ended up wearing or anything like that. So I'm just proud of myself for that and I just wanted to talk about it in case that's something that you have dealt with. Just like seeing something on social media and buying it. Like you don't need a new outfit. If you have something to go to, you don't need to buy a whole new wardrobe if you're going on a trip. And if you're thinking of buying something, keep it in the back of your mind and wait like a month to see if like in a month from now you still want it. So that's my talk right now. I'm gonna get ready to get on Google Meet and record this podcast. I have two minutes. I'm so excited to record with Emma today because we have so much that I feel like we can catch up on and talk about. So I'm gonna do that and I will talk to you guys after. Just got done recording. It was such a good episode. Episode 30, I can't wait for you guys to hear it. Me and Emma caught up, talked about a bunch of stuff. So stay tuned for the podcast. And Mac brought home lunch for me and he got me a Greek wrap with chicken and it looks so good. So I'm gonna eat this and then I have some content that I need to film for brands before my workout. I got all my work done. We just got to the South End. We're gonna go do a core power class. I'm wearing the same set that I wore a couple days ago from Beyond Yoga. I love it. So I'm not gonna bring my camera because I don't have a place to put it, so I'm leaving it in the car, but I'll talk to you guys after. Hi guys. Good morning. It's freezing in my house. But I literally realized that I never vlogged after yoga and the class was so good but I'm ending off this vlog because I'm starting a new weekend in my life so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the vlogs and I love you so much. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.